I challenge you to a race. We're starting off with a challenge, and we're starting off with a new character. Hey guys, Willpower64 here, bringing you back to another part of Diddy Kong Racing. In the last part, we defeated the boss of Dino Domain and were given the second challenge. We also completed the minigame of Dino Domain, Fire Mountain, and we received one piece of the amulet. This time, you're probably wondering what happened to Crunch. Well, my time using Crunch is done. I am now using Diddy Kong. So, Diddy Kong is pretty much the generic character you want to have. He's the pretty much the basic character. With the top speed, not exactly the best, like mediocre. But his acceleration is one of the best, and his handling is one of the best. So, he's a good character to use. I, I've actually done a whole playthrough of just using Diddy Kong. Anyways, once you received... I believe it's once you receive six balloons or you defeated the boss for the first time, you will be asked to do a challenge, a car challenge, to test your driving skills. This race is pretty simple. You just gotta go in a circle. While doing these races, you might notice these little flags with the Nintendo 64 uh, symbol on them. Just follow them. They're your guidance. Like I said, you're just going in a circle. And who wants to see an epic drift? Hold the R button, you drift! We're gonna drift. We're gonna drift in a complete circle. Just gonna keep drifting. This is a pretty much a basic race right here. It's just going around in a circle. It's pretty straight. Oh, nope, there goes the drift. But this is it. This is the race. Uh, eventually, the genie will ask you to do other challenges as the game goes on. Like I said, I think it's either uh, how many balloons you collect or it's how much of the game you've uh, progressed. But with that, race is done. Hello, friend. Well done. Take this reward. I will see you later. Bye -bye for now. And for that, we got ourselves a balloon. Well, let's go back to Dino Domain. Because as you remember, the boss gave us a second challenge, which is collect the silver coins in these races. So let's do that. Let's head on to Fossil Canyon. We could have done Jungle Fall, seeing as that was technically number eight. We had enough, but we'll go in order. So all right. Silver coin challenge. These silver coins, again, aren't too bad. Like I said, I'll try my best to kind of go in a certain order so you know which one's which. So the first silver coin is right there. You're just going to miss the speed boost for it, but that's okay. Your second one is right there. Going over here. Ah, we just missed the third one. You want to come over here. And there you go. You've got the fourth one. That would have been number four. So, okay, we'll call that number three. Because that was the third one. Uh, going over here. That's our fourth one. And our fifth one. So we're going to go up this way. We're going to grab that. Grab a blue balloon. And there would have been the seventh. Cool. Now, all we need to do is get the last one. Number eight. So I believe it was over here where we missed it. I don't know how I missed it, though. That's the funny thing. Yep, there it is. Now, I'll show this off because I haven't gone here yet. There's a little pathway over here. This is the the route they want you to take. But anyways, uh, let's try and get all the... Oh, yeah, there's a blue balloon right there if you want to grab it. If you don't... If you're good at sharp turning and you don't want to get the... Uh, don't want to take the boost. But I think the boost would be better to take. But with that, that is pretty much the race done. And we're... In such a far lead, this is okay. One thing about Diddy Kong Racing, people should know. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing came out in 1997. Another game came out a year earlier called Mario 64. Don't get me wrong, Mario 64 is a great game, but there's one thing about Diddy Kong Racing they have over Mario Kart 64 is the rubber banding. Diddy Kong Racing has no rubber banding whatsoever. So what it means is, if your character goes too far ahead, the players behind you will get better weapons and will speed up faster so they can catch up to you. That's one thing Mario 64 had. Here, in Diddy Kong Racing, that's no such thing. So you can overlap these characters as much as you want. And it's so good, and I love it. But anyways, we got ourselves our next balloon. We're up to a total of nine now. So this was the extra balloon that we were going to need, because Hop Top Volcano required ten balloons, and we wouldn't have had enough. So that's a good thing. So let's head on to Jungle Falls. Jungle Falls. Alright. Jungle Falls. 
Now, the Silver Coin Challenge here isn't too bad. It can be a little challenging, but we should be alright. I'm going to ignore that one. Oh, okay. We're going to ignore that one. I'm drive over here. You've got one right here. Miss Conquer. There's one over there, but I'm going to ignore it. There's two, and there's three. Dang. Alright. Conquer's taking all my weapons. Alright, there's that one there. I think that was five. This is six. And now we can get that one. I always recommend getting this one uh, on your second lap. Alright. Now we gotta go get this one. Yeah. You've got to be careful with that one. Uh, you can easily... Oh, there we go. <laughs> See you, Conquer. You could easily fall into the water. Uh, one thing I can show, I'll do this on the next lap. If you're having a little bit of a hard time trying to get that silver coin, here's a better alternative that you can do. So, what you want to do is that boost right up ahead. Uh, grab this balloon here. You want to zoom ahead and then use it. You do kind of go in the water, but that's why I recommend you be far ahead of everybody. It's always good not to get all the silver coins in just one go. You want to get a distance from a lot of these characters, especially the silver coin challenges. So with that, that's all the silver coins. There's one balloon there. I, I saw it, but I didn't get it yet. Uh, whenever I get a chance, I'll grab it. All right, so now we got 10. So we got 10 balloons. We're going on to Hot Top Volcano, and this is where uh, the challenge kicks in. Each world, I always find, has a hard silver coin challenge, and technically Hot Top Volcano would be the one. Yes, as you, you should know, each world's going to have a silver coin challenge. That's how this game extends pretty long. So, going down here, our first silver coin is right here. I'm grab that one. Your second one, right there. I think your third one's just up ahead. Yes, that was close. That's our third. Fourth one is right up here. Fifth one should be right here, right by the doorway. Oh, I say sixth one, actually. Six. No, that's the fifth. So that's six. And then this would be seven. So we've been through a whole lap. Where is that last one? Well, actually, the first one we got isn't the first one. That's the first one right there, right behind that little rock thing. See, that's where there's always those silver coins that are in the most odd places. Later on in the game, silver coins will appear off track, not on the track, on a different spot. So that's where you got to be careful. A lot of the silver coins I always had a hard time with when I was younger. The, the most I ever did back when I played Diddy Kong Racing was I would finish the first world and I would finish the boss of every other world. But when it came to the silver coins, no. Silver coins, no way. Couldn't do it. The silver coins was always the hardest part of the game and that's what took us so long. But eventually, uh, me and my brother managed to conquer all the... Heh, <laughs> get it? Conquer? We managed to beat all the silver coins, beat the bosses and all that. So... We were all good. I'm gonna watch out for this dino guy. Over here. And that should do it. Cool. Alrighty, we now have access to the boss. Round two. Fantastic. If you can beat me again, I'll give you a special prize.
And here we go. This is round two. Clearly Tricky has still not learned that using a cart is the more better thing to do. Round two is supposed to be the harder mode of this boss. One, Tricky runs faster. Second, there will be columns that will fall down on you. If you get hit by them, you don't they don't stop you. You get crushed as well. So you slow down and they stop you. So they're a bit of a pain. But all you want to do is just do the same thing. Just keep going up. Any blue balloons you see, grab them. Now, one thing... Well, one, Diddy Kong is probably the best character because your turning is pretty good. One thing you should know, in the last race, we took a shortcut to get up. That's not happening this time. As you notice, Tricky is right behind me. He's catching up pretty fast. Don't bother taking this shortcut this time because there will be no boost halfway on that shortcut. So there's no reason to take it this time. Oh, that's not good. So one over here. We're going to see the whole track now. So you got to be careful here now. Now, the next part that makes this challenge a little harder. The trees will now appear in the middle of the track. That's really going to become a problem. I'm gonna grab that balloon. Again, you don't want to fall and you don't want to hit any trees. Got to be careful because Tricky's right behind us. There's going to be one more tree in the middle. And that's it. We did it. And there's Tricky. showed up right behind us. Congratulations, you have won a piece of the magical amulet. There are three more pieces to collect. Good luck. So you might have noticed Tricky said, try the trophy challenge. What exactly is that? Well, we kind of showed a little bit earlier. This is the trophy challenge. You want to come over here? Trophy race. And now we have access to the trophy race. So let's give it a go. Ancient Dino Domain, trophy race, round one. Ancient Lake. Trophy race is pretty much Grand Prix. You gotta do all four races back to back. So it's pretty straightforward. One thing you should know, the racers are a little bit harder. They have a bit of a smarter AI, so you gotta be careful. But again, they're not much of a threat to worry about. We'll go over here, take the shortcut. And I guess, you know what? Now's a better time to show off uh, the level three weapon. So let's see what I can do about that. We'll show off the level 3 weapon. Well, first, let's show off the level 2 weapon of the blue balloon. As you know already, level 1 is just like an, a ready orange boost. Nothing special. Let's see if I can get the, the level 2 weapon. Makes sense why I can do that. Alright, level 2 is a blue. Kind of like how you get at the start of the race. Pretty good. Alright, now we're on the final lap. Let's move on. And let's grab, let's see if I can show off the level 3 weapon. Let's see, so we're gonna go over here. Alright, and now we just gotta get one more. Again, you don't wanna hit any other balloon, but the blue ones. And I'm gonna skip out on that boost right here, and let's go. Again, uh, that was actually supposed to be purple. Don't worry about why it's green, I'll explain a little bit later on. But for now, this is what happens. You get yourself a little tally at the end. To show off what characters get what. If you come in first, you get 9 points. If you come in second, you get 7 points. Third, you get 5. Fourth, you get 3. Fifth, you get 1. As for 6, 7, 8, you get none. So just be careful. Dino Domain, Trophy Race, Round 2, Fossil Canyon. Now I might as well show off the other uh, powered up weapons. Seeing as we got the time for it. So, let's start, uh, no, no, I'll do the, uh, the red one, we'll show off the red one. So as you know, the red one gives you a missile, so you shoot it, you get a little missile out of it, bada bing, bada bing, whatever, but if you get two, you get two, you get a homing missile. This will target someone. So actually, I'm going to slow down, let someone get ahead of me, and we're going to fire! It targets an enemy and blows them to smithereens. Pretty straightforward. 
So, let's show off the third. The third one. And that should be interesting to watch. I, get it. Oh, I was hoping I could actually shoot <laughs> Crunch out of the sky, but oh well. Okay. So we got one, which is just a regular missile. Over here. There we go. We've got the second one, which I said was a homing. Now this one! Your level 3 upgrade. You get to shoot 10 missiles! Bombs away! Alright, show off the green balloons. As we know, I don't think I'll be able to show them all of them off here, but... Green one shoots out tar. Which makes characters slip and slide and lose... Just spin out of control. Uh, as you kind of saw just right there and right here, that's what the second one is. It turns into a landmine. Landmine, if someone runs over it, they get hurt. But a third one leaves a bubble. These bubbles are actually pretty devastating. Ooh, and Crunch is right beside me. I just noticed how close Crunch got there. Oof. Bubbles. Um, get hit by them. You are stuck for three seconds at least. Two to three seconds and you lose all your speed. So that sucks big time. Anyways, down to main trophy race, round three, Jungle Falls. All right, Jungle Falls. Um, before I show off the yellow with purple star uh, upgrades, there's one more balloon around here that we might have seen, but I haven't gotten a chance to grab it yet because it's kind of out of the way. And that is, there's one up there, but the other one. Well, I guess I can show this off. This is what the level one is. Just a little orange shield. Whatever. But if we go over here, that was a rainbow balloon. Rainbow balloons have a magnet. What it does is it lets you uh, go towards other racers. So that's pretty good. All right. So level two weapon, or in this case, shield, gives you a blue shield, and it lasts a little longer than what the first shield did. So that's pretty good. I gotta be careful because these guys are right behind me. Uh, I don't, I won't be able to show off the level, the level, the next level, level six, or level three. I won't be able to show that one off. Oh well. But hey, uh, whenever I get a chance, I will do it. I don't think it's in the next race either. Oh well. Anyways, there we go. All right, so next race as you know is hot top volcano careful here these racers can be a pain down to main trophy race round four hot top volcano these guys like to get ahead so you might want to be careful here yeah see these characters like to get ahead so what i'm going to do is try and get a balloon Let's see if i can shoot Shoot her out of the sky. There we go. But like I said, these guys like to catch up very quickly. Okay. Uh, I've done it three times now. I will say this. To get a better boost, let go, of, let go of the A button right before you hit a zipper. So you do that. If you let go, you go a lot faster. It's been kind of hard to not mention. I'm trying not to use it as too much. But Pipsy's gone way too far ahead. I think we're going to have to start using it. So that's your way of uh, getting a better boost, is let go of the A button and just go even faster. So yeah, we've already caught up to Pipsy and she's, I don't know, like I said, these racers get a lot harder because they just, I don't know, something about them. I think this is where the rubber band AI finally kicks in. But now we've uh, caught up ahead so I won't use it anymore. We've gone very far ahead. It's funny to know. Uh, how fast you can go. You could probably overlap all these characters. So if like you were having a hard time with the trophy races and you now know this trick where you can just zoom up ahead, it's funny to know how how quickly you can pass all these guys. It's really cool. But with that, it's all good. We finished the race. Also, I should mention, you gotta press the A button to... Uh, to pass, to 
go to the next screen. But anyways, we have a perfect score of 36. And with that, let's go see TT. And we show us our game status. game status. We have completed everything in Dino Domain. We have the trophy, we found the key, we got the TT amulet, and we have the Whizpig amulet. Yes, that is the name of the, the villain of this game, Whizpig. And with that, that is it. That is everything here in Dino Domain. And I think we're going to end things off here. So next time on Diddy Kong Racing, we'll be going through the big door, which I don't think I've mentioned up till now. The big exit door. And we'll see exactly what lies us for the next world. So I'll see you guys in the next part.